Good everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new video. Today's video is mostly for those of you that have Xiaomi phones. Even though most of them offer amazing value for their price, the RAM management is not the greatest. That means a lot of killed applications that are trying to run in the background and a lot of missed notifications. Today I'm gonna show you how I managed to keep all my apps running in the background and not miss a single notification. Before we get started, make sure that you press that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Alright, let's start with the first step. So first of all, go to settings on your Xiaomi device, scroll all the way at the bottom and here go to about phone. So we are going to have to enable the developer options. To do that, you're going to have to click on the MUI version here about seven times. So do this about seven times and it will be enabled. If you already done this in the past, you're going to see this uh, message here. But if not, you're going to see another message saying that the developer options has been enabled. Once that's done, you're going to go back, you're going to go to additional settings, look for the developer options here, so here uh, for my phone, and go all the way at the bottom. And here you're going to have to turn off the MUI optimization. And whenever you're going to do this, the phone is going to reboot. Alright, now that the phone is back on, go to settings once again. Here at settings you're going to find the battery and performance, click on that, click on this one right here and here you're going to turn this off and go back. Alright, so for the next step you're going to go back to settings, you're going to go back to battery and performance and you're going to click on power. Here at power you're going to click on app battery saver. And just look for whatever apps that um, you want to keep running in the background at all times. So just as an example, let's choose the Facebook Messenger. So you're going to click on that and you're going to select this to no restrictions. Usually you're going to find it around here. So select that to no restrictions and allow. So this is basically going to keep whatever apps you do this for um, running in the background at all times. And that's very important for apps that send you notifications. So for Gmail, for example, for WhatsApp or anything like that. So all the apps that you want to have running uh, in the background at all times, you're going to have to do this. So no restrictions and allow. After you're done with all that, you're going to go back to the settings app. So once again, going to the settings app, you're going to look for permissions. And here at permissions, you're going to click on auto start. So here you're going to select whatever apps you need running in the background at all times. Me personally, I have every single app uh, that I use uh, on a daily basis. So all these are the apps that I want uh, running in the background at all times. But for you, it may be different. So for example, if you want the Facebook Messenger to stay on at all times and send you notifications and so on, just uh, select that one uh, so it can uh, auto start by itself. So this is the next step for keeping all those apps running in the background. For our last step, you're basically going to open all the apps that um, you set in the previous step. So in my case, it was the Facebook Messenger. So click on it, open it and then go here to multitasking and lock it. And this way, the app is going to stay running in the background at all times. It's going to have data at all times. So the app is going to send you notifications all the time and it's not going to be killed by the operating system. So this is all that I have done in order to keep my apps running in the background at all times and receive notifications. Keep in mind that the phone that I'm using has 6 gigs of RAM, therefore I can actually keep everything running in the background. If you have a phone that has only 2 or 3 gigs of RAM, just do this for the apps that you really need to stay on at all times. Alright, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you can press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.